This video clip is going to look at the module concept from the point of view of a user, users being students and teachers. So first of all, as a student, as a student, I am going to log into my Stan's Demo Zone and I'm going to click on the Sports Path because that's where my modules or my lessons are located. So you can see a variety of them linked on this track to give a gra graphical representation of a path. So I've chosen the Friction 101 lesson or module and now it's loaded. So the introductory page has got some introductory text plus a video to show the concept of why friction is important. The next page is a theory page. It shows some of the theory behind friction. And the third page is a bit more interactive. In this page the student is asked to identify some areas of friction or, or lack of friction. So I'll just change the colour, select an oval tool and identify where I, the student, think these low friction areas are. And I can take a snapshot of it so that the teacher can see what I've done. Just save that. The next screen is a quiz screen. It's got some multi-choice questions and a free text box. So I'll just type some text in the free text box in answer to the question above and then mark it. So the multi-choice are marked but the free text boxes aren't because the system doesn't know what text has been typed in there. The last page is just a summary page. If we go one step further, a report's created and here we can see the report loaded. So this is a summary for the student to see how they did. It summarizes their marks and their answers. They now need to send it to the teacher. So they choose the teacher and then submit this report to the teacher and we can see here the report has been submitted. So now we need to go and look at it from a teacher's point of view. What would the teacher do? So now the teacher in their own area checks under the My Stuff tab and sees they have an alert. This alert tells them a module has been submitted from one of their students. So if I click on that directly it takes me straight to the same report. However, this is slightly different in that it has comments areas. I can type in some comments. In fact, I can type in a comment for each level in the report. And then choose to save it. And just to save some time, I'll jump through to the last comment. I've already filled the others in. So once I've finished this and save it, I'll now unlock this module and send it back. This means the student will be able to edit it again. Because I've unlocked it, they'll be able to re-edit it. So now, back as a student, what do they see? Well, the student's seeing two alerts. The first one is just the fact that they submitted a zone to a zone, so we can delete that. The second one is the feedback from the teacher. They check on the comments see the teacher would like them to do some more work and because it was unlocked they press the back button and they're back in their module and they could re-edit and then resubmit this module and so the cycle goes on. So this has been a short movie on the module concept from the point of view of a user, the users being students and teachers.